What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today with more Destiny 2, and this one's a little bit different. I wanted to hold up and releasing this today's video until after Bungie did something, whatever they were going to do for Bungie Day, which is the seventh day of the seventh month. And they've done a few things. They've done a few things. They've done something that's actually pretty exciting. So, the first thing that doesn't really have anything to do with Bungie Day, but just this weekend in general. So, from now until reset on Tuesday, which for me is at noon, East Coast is 10 a.m., West Coast will be 1 p.m., um, you get triple Valor points in the Crucible. When you log into Destiny 2, it'll say it. It'll say, hey, Trials of the Nine is active. Hey, by the way, if you do anything that rewards Valor, like Mayhem or Quick Play, um, you get triple Valor. So, farm for that exotic ghost. In Mayhem is what I have to say about that. But as far as Bungie Day goes, I'm actually going to tab out of the game. We're going to tab out of the game, and here we are. Moments of Triumph are back. So, let's just see what Bungie had to say. It says, Happy Bungie Day. If you're new to the community, you may find yourself asking, Wait, why has Bungie dedicated a day to celebrating itself? Bungie Day was something that was started by the community way back in the day, back when they were with Microsoft and made Halo. Um, it was just something to celebrate Bungie as a whole because Bungie back then and even now has a pretty thriving and healthy community around it. So they've added Moments of Triumph back into the game. It says, starting now, Moments of Triumph for Destiny 2 are available on Bungie.net. From now through August 28th, 2018, players are invited to complete various in-game objectives to earn points towards Triumph Point progress, sorry, toward Triumph points, which will unlock unique rewards. Now, you'll be able to see your your Triumph points in game once the Solstice of Heroes event goes live at the end of the month, on the 31st actually. But until then, you'll be able to track your progress on bungie.net. Um and We'll just take a look at my profile here really, really quick. So I've got my Xbox Live linked, which I only played until D2 released on PC. So you'll see I only have 80 Triumph points on console. And you'll see I don't have any anything, and my character, my Warlock's 305, my Hunter's 134, and my Titan's 304. So there we go, but we go into Battle.net, or PC... And I'm at 215 out of 400 points. You'll see there, I don't really do much competitive PvP yet either. That'll change soon, I hope. I hope. But getting up there in Valor as well, so there we have it. But anyway, you can see the Moments of Triumph. I'm at 215 out of 40 points. You can click on that. And then it shows you the milestones that you can get to and that sort of thing. Um, now, it doesn't go into great detail yet on Bungie.net what they have for us to do. There'll be more things released once the Solstice of Heroes event goes live, which is kind of like year one of Destiny 2, the culmination, the, the grand finale, if you can call it that, um, where you get points for completing things and knocking things off of a list. So here we go, we have, will be revealed later this summer. That's probably going to be something for Solstice of Heroes. I still haven't collected all the region chests. I didn't know that. So here we go, it actually gives you a list of all of the chests if you have that to do. Or here we go, let's see here, complete 20 adventures, view adventures, and then it'll tell you what adventures you have not done yet, and which ones you have. So, Hive Extermination. Complete Tier 7 and Escalation Protocol. There we go. Defeat Kallus in the Leviathan Raid. Defeat 100 opponents in the Crucible. Complete 20 adventures. I did that. You know, view Raid Layers. I, I did both of them. Hooray. And now, Events. We go to Events. Will be revealed. 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 And these, this is where the majority of the points comes from, right here. So... As far as I know, the only one that I have yet to do, that I can do, is a Treasure Hunter. So, which is only 10 more points. So, currently, I'm 10 off from the available maximum in-game right now, which is 225. And if we go to View Rewards, all the rewards will become available July 31st, when the Solstice of Hero event 
goes live and we'll go back to this post to take a look at it. So at, uh, it says here, you know, complete any triumph, get your tracking emblem from almost triumph. So basically as soon as you log in on the 31st and the solstice of heroes event is live, you'll get your tracking emblem. That'll track your total triumph points. And then 125 points, you get the right choice legendary ghost shell, which is that right there. Looks pretty neato burrito, if I do say so myself. Um, and then at 250 points, you get the Solstice of Heroes Moments of Triumph t-shirt. That is a mouthful, which is right here, which if it's anything like the Destiny 1 Moments of Triumph thing, you can put your gamer tag in the back or customize it however you want. And the t-shirt was generally pretty cheap. Um, I didn't get one for D2 because uh, I wasn't interested in a t-shirt. Who knows? I might get one for, or I'm sorry, I didn't get one from D1. Might get one for D2. Never know. Um, and then at 300 points, you get the Comrades in Arms Legendary Sparrow, which is right there. Looks, looks pretty good. I like it. And then if you get all 400 points, you get the Eternally Triumphant Emblem Upgrade. So this, I'm assuming, is the Emblem Upgrade. And this is the tracking upgrade, or the tracking emblem that you get right away. So if you can see my little mouse wiggling around there. But, again, there's the t-shirt. And then they hint at, and that's not all there is to collect in the Solstice of Heroes. And then they give us these three images right here. I'm assuming there's going to be a whole armor set, as with the Hunter. You see here there's a cloak. And on the Warlock, there's gold and white. It's gonna, There's going to be a whole new armor set, basically, to go for. So, we have something to look forward to at the end of the month that will last until the end of August. Which will give us something to farm for, something to shoot for until Forsaken comes out. Which, to be honest, isn't that far away when you think about it. It's two months out. But that's all I had for you. I know it's a little shorter video, it's not gameplay footage, but I knew that Bungie was going to do something cool. Everyone, you know, was thinking, you know, what are they going to do? Are they going to do you know, some sort of Crucible event? Is there going to be a live stream? Because Bungie is being very, very vague about what they planned on doing for Solstice of Heroes. But, or for Bungie Day, rather. Uh, but, yeah, there we have it. So, log on to Bungie.net, see where you're at, see what you have to do to get the maximum of, uh, I think, what was it, two, 225 currently. And then once Solstice of Hero goes live, you'll be able to grind to get to that 400 if you so choose. But there we have it, folks. That is all I had for you today. Sorry it's not gameplay footage, but I wanted to cover what Bungie was doing for Bungie Day. Don't forget to have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.